A homeless camp on city property now in limbo with an order to vacate today. The lease for the camp located along Arden Way expired this month. Your reporter Rachel Wolf joins us live when showing us how homeless advocates are trying to help. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Yeah, a bit of a chaotic situation now as Colfax has been closed off. Now we have police on scene and people are frantically trying to remove some of their belongings from Camp Resolution. There's a number of dogs, cats, uh, all sorts of vehicles being pushed out of here. Camp Resolution was seen as a solution to a homeless situation that was not great in 2020. This is a vacant city-owned lot that homeless started camping on in 2020 and after a few years and attempts to erect a homeless shelter here that were scrapped, uh, many of them were seeking other solutions and that's when, uh, well, they basically moved in and there was a group, a nonprofit, that tried to help them. Safe Ground Sacramento signed a lease with the city of Sacramento allowing people, dozens of folks, to camp here. Uh, one of the issues was that the ground was apparently toxic. There were some vapors that were reportedly emanating, and so then folks were not supposed to be camping and sleeping on the ground, so then trailers were brought in to keep folks safe. Initially, the city had planned again to open a shelter, but again, that hasn't happened. So the lease was up August 10th. The city pays nothing to run the camp itself. Governed and residents are provided food and clothing through donations. But because that lease ended, they had to leave. And today is the last day they have an order to vacate. So as you can see from this video, there were a number of cars, some of them not running, that were being pushed out of here. All sorts of personal belongings um, and people wanting to get to their items that are inside. Now, there's... There's some groups that are here. We're not sure who they're affiliated with. There's members of the city that are standing by uh, outside here. There's a dump truck that pulled up. Uh, now they've brought in police barricades. And there's some people that are obviously very, very agitated. Now, there is going to be uh, this issue brought to court because there's been a temporary restraining order filed against the city of Sacramento. Uh, the homeless advocates hoping to sh halt the shutdown of the camp. This is all going to play out in court August 30th, but for today and right now, there had been a vigil planned. I've been told that that vigil is probably on hold at this point in time uh, as we kind of see how this all unfolds. So we're going to be following this throughout the morning, hopefully talking with a member of the, the city government who is here and, of course, the homeless advocates. Uh, there's an attorney for the homeless union who is inside, reportedly. There's a lot of moving parts to this, as there usually are with homeless encampments, a number of issues, uh, a number of people who are disabled. So they have to, by federal law, have a place to go to within 15 days. And that's one of the things that's being argued by the homeless union is the way that this has all gone down. There's a certain protocol and process that needs to happen. So, well, again, we'll follow it. We'll bring you more details coming up as it develops in the next half hour. A lot of difficult moving parts in this whole situation. Rachel Wolf, thank you so much for the updates there.